Alright, so now I'm gonna find... Now, since I've met Rebecca, now I can go into that storeroom. Essential items in this room. Alright, store the crest for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the broken shotgun now. And that'll be it. Alright, uh, so here's what I've been dying for so far. Here is the sword key. The uppers. Alright, so with that, a lot of things are going to be easier now. That's why I've grabbed the shotgun, so now I can go in that room finally with the shotgun. Alright, I'm going to grab the serum. And I'm going to store the serum for now. Because there's still quite a bit I can do before I... Before I go back to Rebecca. Alright, I get a clip finally. I'll go ahead and take those shells in the closet. Get that zombie and get out of here. Okay, so I need to clear some space once again. So we'll be making trips to the item box quite frequently in Chris's games. Ugh. gonna wait until I'm absolutely at the point before I do anything. So forget the broken shotgun. Let's freaking combine all these dang shells. Alright. That's good. Those items I all need. Place the blue Joel, get a crest.
right. We are finally rid of the sword key. And we'll soon be rid of the armor key, too. We gotta run fill the Cerberus Hall. Let's get a nice close-up of Chris. Nice for the weapon reveal. All right. Finally. All right. And we're not going in there though, because there's nothing key in there. But I do need to go into this bathroom. Because now the bathtub actually has water in it. Got another small key. How did it not get washed in the drain? All right. So now we are able to unlock one of those small, another desk, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. Finally, go into that one armor key room that I unlocked that I said I would go in later. I waited specifically to get the desk key. All right, let's kill the Cerberi. shotgun shells. Sweet. Huh. Don't have to finish that zombie. Alright, now let's head back in the direction we were going. And I am pretty sure Richard is dead by now. shotgun from the item box before I can get the shotgun. interesting twist if they reversed it for Chris's scenario. But no, nothing like that. First game in the series, I mean, can't get too creative. <laughs> No 
change in that. Alright, got the star crest. And with Chris's limited space, I'm gonna go ahead and put those crests where they belong. Again. That wall is a protective barrier for that thing. But I'm not gonna fall for it. I get bitten anyway. Alright. So I guess once a zombie is downed and but isn't quite dead to where he'll bite your leg, if you leave the room, he'll be gone. So that's nice to know. Alright, let me get rid of those shells. And grab the broken shotgun. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the lighter too. Cause after that, I'm gonna head back to the Richard room. Just door to door to door to door. All right, let's do this. Nice, got the shotgun. And yeah, so we learned from Forrest that Chris does not get the bazooka. So for the most part, the shotgun is Chris's most powerful weapon. Until we get to the cold python, of course. Alright, so now it's time to head to the Richard room. Which way is faster? I think this way is. Yeah, this way definitely is. Yep, it's definitely dead. get that clip from him. Nice, alright. We do not have the shield key yet, so I can't unlock that door. Rub in there, all right. But still a clip in here. Cool. And use the lighter. What do we get? Shotgun shells. All right. We are loaded with shells. And that is because Chris doesn't get the bazooka, so the game, that's the only thing the game can offer him, really. So factually, Chris gets more shotgun shells than Jill does, by far. Alright, so now, I can finally do the piano sequence. And the reason why I waited this long to do that is because I wanted to make sure Richard is dead. Because the piano sequence for Chris is dramatically different from Jill's. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the shield key.